Peggy 16. Bruce Campbell and I play the extreme reporter in the amazing Spider-Man video game. You see this blimp? That's right, Spider-Man. This is my blimp. You got that kid or must I repeat myself? Acting in front of a camera and acting in front of a microphone are very different things. You know what? I hate it! I hate floating peacefully above the earth. I'm bored! What I did before the session is I went out and I, I just jumped off a building. Because, you know, I'm a method actor. I don't know if you know that. And I felt it was just important to get to get ready for that, to get ready for the challenge. Could I do the same things that I'm asking Spider-Man to do? And the answer is uh, no, I hurt myself quite badly. The Extreme Reporter is a former mixed martial artist, fighter. Not that successful, but he won because he trash-talked a lot, so he got a lot of fame from that. Want to be the king of the airwaves? Well, have I got a challenge for you. Then he parlayed that into the type of guy who stages these big sporting events, so it's a perfect match. This Big Mouth versus Spider-Man. You better believe it, there is a new race challenge! Show me some magic. Do some tricks around it. Front, back, down, up! Show this blimp who's boss! Give it to me! He's the only one who can come up with the outrageous ideas, and Spider-Man is the only one who can do them. Now, for your first mission, get that pretty spider butt to the marked antenna on that skyscraper. The Extreme Reporter is very similar to me in that it's the intelligence and the wit that is the same. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So we're really, we have a lot in common. We're very simple people who don't think that that highly of ourselves, other than the fact that we're awesome. Spectacular. If I had the, the same powers that Spider-Man had, I would use them to get away from a film set much quicker back to my house. They'd say, and cut. <laughs> I'd be home like one swing. About four swings later, I'd land right in the pool. And I heard that Stan Lee is also uh, a voice in this game. Walking is overrated. I mean, come on, how cool is that? I just love the island. He's the youngest man I've ever met in my entire life. And that's the amazing Stan Lee for you. One of the great things about the Amazing Spider-Man game is just the sense of reality. When you dive off and fall, you feel like you're falling a hundred stories off a skyscraper. And New York City is the perfect background. And the detail is just, it's awesome. It's really worth it. It's gonna make you feel like you're that character. You're gonna have a blast.